Hi guys, what's happening? So today we're going to have another look at this uh, new generator or the motor part of it. And uh, as you have seen last time, the motor was spinning, but it would uh, spin a little bit slow still. And uh, you know, this is devastating. What do you do about it? So um, some stuff crossed my mind like Maybe we should make another coil to test, you know, with uh, less iron in the coil so that the attraction of the magnet would be less. So, you know, it would be able to move past the coil more easily, for example, or even thoughts like uh, maybe I used uh, too thick of a gauge wire or many other options uh, have crossed my mind. So. You know, at some point you start thinking, uh, what have I started? <laughs> this is pretty normal for such a project. So it is key to not give up and to keep going. And uh, so I did. I sat here in my, uh, you know, sort of workshop hobby space to try and find a better way to run this motor. Just by putting it on and starting to gather, you know, the feel for it again, uh, because, you know, uh, it didn't work. So I kept trying, kept trying and kept trying. As you can see, the circuit hasn't changed yet. We are still on uh, the read switch here. And uh, the only thing that really has changed is this capacitor. Somebody in the comments uh, said, where is the capacitor? Well, here it is. And uh, I quickly found out that if you have the capacitor, uh, you know, right there, there's the positive and uh, negative of the source. And uh, if you have the capacitor there, then it will be able to provide the current much faster. So it'll actually go a little bit faster but that's not everything i want to show you today um without further ado let's just uh put the circuit on so instead of a battery i have this pedal power supply i didn't don't know if i forgot to mention that but this is what runs the thing it's a uh, nine volt dc and let's turn it on so at first we obviously have nothing because, uh, you know, we still have to sort of spin it up. And then you can see the current. And previously it would only run something like this, you know. But as you can see, it's still speeding up. So yeah, nothing has changed. Like I didn't change the coils or didn't take it out again or nothing really. It's just that uh, the tuning of the reach switch had to be done. And the placement of the coil, the location of it has changed. Maybe, you know, it has advanced a little bit more that way. And that's just about it. And we get this uh, pretty stable current now. I guess you can see it generally that it takes two of these uh, blocks and sometimes a little bit more three. So somewhere around 400 milliamperes. So yeah, so here's tuning it up a little bit more. Would you look at that? You can hear the ticking, right? Tick, 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 tick. A little bit more. 500 something. I put the LED here so you can see the timing of the spike. You can see it's almost uh, top dead center of the coil. Now you can see it also starts to wiggle the uh, table here because of the imbalance. It really is running. 
So yeah, that's all I pretty much needed to know that this coil will actually do the trick. Um, whether or not we need to make the coil go closer to the magnets or not, we'll figure it out at some point. Whether or not they still should stay in series like uh, the 70 something meters or that they should be in parallel like they were intended to be, I don't know. But for all I know is that we can make more of these coils right now. And uh, <clears throat> we don't have to try anything else really. This will do. So for the next couple of, I don't know, I guess weeks, I'll be making more of these coils. And uh, it can be that there will not be a video because yeah, there. what is there to share then? Uh, on the other hand, maybe I have something to share like, um, you know, for example, the placement of the coil on the starter plate. Uh, we still have to make uh, that work a little bit better because otherwise, how are we going to get closer to the magnets, right? Um, so I hope you understand. And uh, this is it for now. And I'm going to enjoy the sunshine, right? So thanks for watching and uh, 